as you learn as you go. And my favorite part is the tagline where he says, so, so take a chance on love. In 1970, December 4th, I was born 11 minutes after my sister. She always kind of led the way. And uh, I came into the world, mom and dad, and a, my older brother and sister who were six years old at the time, and they were twins also, Kevin and Karen. And uh, we began living. We grew up in New York City in the, uh, in the projects of New York City and Harlem. And we had no clue how poor we were. <laughs> we also had no clue we were on welfare. And then we also had no clue that the project was actually, truly a government project. And uh, so growing up there, what we did have was love, family, and each other. And that was all we really needed. We didn't need anything else. Um, anytime things got really, really tough and really, really bad, when push came to shove, I always knew my brother and sisters were going to be there. I knew that they loved me, even though they picked on me relentlessly. They called me sissy, they called me uh, mama's boy. Uh, anytime mom and dad wasn't there, they would, they would gang up on me. One time they made me stand in the center of the room and they threw things at me. Huh. In turns, what I did when the mom and dad was there is I blamed them for things. If something broke, I blamed them and got them in trouble. <laughs> but I knew they always loved me. One time I was coming home from school and my sister and I were walking and this 17, 18 year old grabbed my ski hat off my head. Hey, we're about 11 or 12. She grabbed me and said, let's go get your hat. And I was like, no, 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 he can have it, he can have it. I was scared, she wasn't. She ran over to him, she grabbed the hat and the guy turned around ready to fight. She stood her ground and she was not going to let him have my hat. And that's because she loved me. Another time, uh, we had family gatherings every Sunday where we'd get together and we would have family gatherings. And in this particular one, my brother, my sister, and a couple of my siblings got in a fight with another family. And while they fought, I ran home and got mom. That's what mama boys do. <laughs> and so, but they, did, they never gave me a hard time. They knew that I was a mommy boy. I was going to get mom. Mom could fix everything. There was another time where we were at school and my brother and sister had learned that Tiffany, or Billy, she was in sixth grade, we were in second and third, would chase us home every day. And so they showed up at school, they cornered her, and they made us beat her up. And we did. And became really good friends with Tiffany and um, spent lots of years going to Six Flags with Tiffany. But they cared so much for us, they weren't going to let us be bullied. So we, can't, we moved to 1984 and we moved to Austin. My mom was a nanny and the lady that she worked with had heard my parents say many times that she wanted to get us out of the projects, get us out of the city. And so she talked her job into allowing us to move with them. If they would pay for her and us, she said she would move. So we came to Austin, we had nothing. We didn't have, know anyone other than my mom's boss, no family. All we had was each other and love. There was a lot to love in our family. Uh, fast forward, I'm 33 years old. And after much inner struggle and battling and personal growth and working on myself, uh, I came to a point where I had to take a chance on love. And after a five hour conversation with my sister, five hours where I'm pretty certain that she thought I'd actually murdered someone and buried him in my backyard, <laughs> which I didn't, so don't call crime <laughs> um, I told her I'm gay. And she was cool with that. I called my sister, oldest sister in Houston and told her, and she said, I'm glad you're finally being honest with yourself. Good for you. I talked to my mom and she didn't like it. We still have problems today, but we're growing. I talked to my dad, he goes, you have a Bible? I said, yeah. He says, you read it? I said, yeah. He says, give me a hug. You're a grown man, you can make your own decisions. And our relationship's never been any stronger than that. And so yes, life's a dance. You learn as you go. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance, you learn as you grow. And I'm so happy that I had my family, I had love all along when I was growing up, and I had the courage to take a chance on love, and it paid off. Thank you. Standing ovation with your first speech. Excellent Thank you. job. Thank you. Thank you.